God dropped things in my mind. The seed was planted, but I didn't get it. My definition of what he said was wrong. So what he said was snatched out of my mind. Temple, you need to have money. I heard that, but I didn't hear what he said. Temple, you need to take care of yourself physically. I heard that, but I didn't really get what he said until I got sick. It was snatched out. Anybody heard stuff and then forgot it? You thought you had got, but you didn't really get it? Then the second guy, the seed of the truth was sown in his mind in Matthew 13, but he, it didn't have any root. It's like, I remembered it for a couple of days, and when, when I got in trouble or something difficult happened, I forgot everything he said. So the first time I didn't understand, the second time it didn't really root, third time I just got excited about something else. I got excited about my life, I got excited about my career, I got excited about this, and so the cares of this life choked the word. And, and, and the only guy that did well was the guy, the fourth guy in Matthew 13, that was the guy who the seed was sown in his mind, he understood what he heard and he remembered it. And that's the guy who had the right, he's clear, he had clarity, that's the point. And, and so the prompt of the series was, I realized I must not have had clarity. If I'm not having his result, if I'm not the person who's growing and prospering, am I, then something's wrong. So if in your life it's not going well, the problem is one of the three, four things have happened to you. One, you probably heard it, but it didn't stick. Number two, you heard it, but it didn't get root. Or number three, you got distracted by something. You understand? And I realized that in my life, I have gotten distracted by stuff. Some of you, it's a guy, a girl, I don't know what it was, but that, that thing prompted me to say, you know what? Oh, back up. I gotta stop. You cannot keep going down this road. You gotta change your definition. <laughs>